In this video, I will show you how to upload the PDF version of your examination paper into exam.net and how you can ask the students to do the examination on a physical full scale paper and then submit their work through exam.net. So first off, I have my copy of my examination paper here in Word document format. So it is important to save this file as a PDF format. So I will go to File and Save As. File format, I will change it to PDF and just export it as a PDF. So now you can see that my file is already converted into PDF format. So let's see how we can upload this file into exam.net. So right back at exam.net, I will create new exam. I will select use a PDF file right here and it will ask me to put my PDF file here. So going back to my file, I will drag and drop it into exam.net and upload it. So this may take up to a minute or two if your document contains many pages. But in the meantime, you can close this window and continue on setting the style of your exam paper. So to close this, now I will put a name for my examination paper. This will be as name as topical test 3. Scrolling down, we will have the student's information. It would be a good idea to check their first name, last name, class, teacher's name and phone number. This depends on the teacher whether you want to anonymize the exam paper or not so that you will not be able to see the student's identity when you are grading their papers. Student space. Now since the nature of my paper is that I require the students to write their answers on a physical full scale paper, I must select writing area. I must enable a writing area so that later on they can scan their handwritten work with a mobile phone and then send it over to exam.net. We will see how it looks like later on. So please make sure you turn on writing area and scan handwritten work. The next few selections here, I will leave it for the teachers as I will not be discussing these other tools as it is not important in the style of my examination paper. Once done, please make sure that the security you set to allow any browser so that students can either use their mobile phone, laptops, computers, or tablets to do the examination. Next, settings for lower security mode, we will set require explanation, but unlock immediately. This comes into handy when the student switches windows or they are being locked out for specific reasons when they come back to the exam paper, they are required to provide explanation. Say for example, they may have to change their devices because the previous device ran out of battery, etc, etc. Once they provide the reasons, it will be unlocked immediately for them to continue the examination. Once done, we scroll down and then create the exam. So I'm done creating my exam. Let's see how it looks like at the student's point of view. This is just a preview of the examination. Later on in a separate video, I will show you exactly what the student sees when the student attempt the question. But before that, it is important for teachers to understand what it looks like first. So let's go over to preview exam. So it says very clearly that this is just a preview. Let's begin the preview. So as you can see here, I have my writing area here, writing area. And then I have my test paper area at the top. So in my opinion, it becomes very difficult for the students to see the exam paper. So I strongly recommend to tell the students to use side by side view. So that the students can see the question paper and the writing area. Now to those students using iPads, they have to use these zooming features at the top here in order to zoom in and out of the paper because in exam.net, multi-gesture zooming is disabled automatically. So they must use these zooming features. For example, if I need to zoom in my question paper more, I would tap zoom in more. Or if I need to zoom out, I would tap zoom out more. Other than that, this barrier here can be adjusted so that the students can see a wider view of the question paper. Since the nature of my examination question is that I don't require the students to type, 
no typing needed. I would ask the students to put this aside so that they can see a full view of the question paper and then attempt this examination on their full scale paper. Only after they have finished all the question, they will need to scan their work. Then they can drag this on the right side more and then just select scan work. In a separate video, I will show you how the students can scan their work and then paste it over into their writing area and submit the examination paper.